The Battle of Moor was a battle in the Hungarian Revolution of 1848, fought on 30 December 1848 between Austria and Hungarian insurgents. The Austrians were led by Croatian Ban Josip Jelikic, while the Hungarians were led by Moor Perchel. The Austrians were victorious and Buda lost at his independence. Pretext in the summer of 1848 two separated armies were defending the western Hungarian borders. Major General Artur Gorgi with his army between Channel Nadas and Lake Ferto was against Alfred I, Prince of Windisch Graz. Major General Mor Perchel led approximately 10,000 soldiers and tried to defend Medimuz against Laval Nugent who was stationed at Styria, hoping the Austrians would not attack. The Hungarian military leadership started to establish new troops and organize their forces. But, on 14 December, Windisch Grat started his attack and this meant a new period of the revolution. This is called the Winter Campaign. The larger Austrian army managed to break through the Hungarian defense. The Hungarian army started to retreat towards Kjur and Buda. Lajos Koshu tried to convince Gorgi to continue the fight, and he sent more legions from other theaters of battle to help. On 16 December Perchel received an order that he was to make contact with Gorgi. This meant that the Hungarian troops gave up South Transdanubia without a fight. In his dispatches Kossuth commanded Gorgi and Perchel to engage the Austrians. Kossuth made a mistake, as he knew that Perchel needed little encouragement to start a fight. On 30 December Perchel was in Moor when he received Kossuth's letter and, even though his more educated officers advised him not to fight, he undertook the battle. Before the battle Perchel forgot to inform Gorgi of his decision even though he was close by. Battle Perchel's legion contained approximately 6,500 soldiers and 24 cannon. The northern area near Moor was disadvantageous, because it was surrounded by a forest which the Austrians could easily break through. Perchel had determination, and the fact that the Austrians had a smaller army there made him more confident. But he did not reconnoitre the Austrians, so he did not realise how powerful they were. The Hungarian artillery stopped Jelacic's front line and they were advancing when Ferenc Sottinger's front line arrived. The balance of forces significantly changed. Jelacic's legion had fewer soldiers than Perchel's, but Jelacic and his legion were more powerful. The weak and barely fighting Hungarian soldiers escaped to the forest. They managed to save almost all of the artillery but Perchel could only reorganize his legion in sex fair ever. The loss to Hungary was about 2,500 men, most of them were taken prisoner. They also lost at least five cannon. Aftermath Hearing the news that Perchel lost the battle, Gorgi withdrew again in fear that Jelacic would surround the Hungarian army from the south. The legion on the upper Danube had to protect almost every road to Buda. Because of this they moved closer to Buda, the capital city, as it was in danger from the Austrians. On 31 December the government decided to decamp to Debrecen. On 2 January 1849 the Council of War decided not to fight for the empty Buda and Pest. Three weeks after the start of the winter campaign Windisch Graz marched on Buda. 